Hello, it's just me again. And uh, a wee reading that should have been on a few days ago, but uh, you might hear I'm a bit hoarse. I haven't been too well with a bit of a flu, so you're getting it now, but it's still relevant because we're still in the time period. So if it uh, resonates with you, take it, and if it doesn't, well, I'll take a bit, so maybe some bits. Anywho, uh, so what have we got? Two cards come out this time efficiency and formation. And yet again, I follow the story, and that, that's always amazes me when I'm doing these cards, how it seems to just continue on. Anywho, we'll start with efficiency. And we can see in the top back uh, right hand corner the recent full moon which is actually when I drew these cards and uh, well no I drew them just after the recent full moon and uh, so that again puts a timestamp on it so it's very relevant to now what it shows is that you're coming out, if you look at the whole background, um, you've been through a period, maybe your whole life, um, where it's nearly like you've been wearing camouflage. It's just like you're coming out of camouflage, you know, where you see these films where soldiers are coming out and have all these stuff all over them, they blend in with the bushes, nobody sees them. And so it sort of indicates to me that you you coming out of that you're coming out of a time where you really have uh, felt on scene at different times and you have the light of the moon shedding shedding that uh, clear that camouflage but um, your ideas that you've been working on they're starting to come uh, they're not too far off being reality the things you've been thinking about in, in your hand you have the sun and I'm fairly sure in a previous reading it was in the centre of your gut it's now moved up into your hand you can see it, you can feel it but it's still to develop you've got good foundations and if you look at the face you've got a young girl or I'm guessing she's a, a teenager not quite at maturity which reflects where your ideas are at but they are coming so uh, lots of movement and the sun is in shedding light and you can see the the drops of light falling down from below it and those bright bits falling down is the light coming from the sun immediately above the sun you can see that actually nearly with its nose right stuck into the sun is a seal. And uh, the seal, if I can just see where I wrote. Yeah, the seal, I wanted to get that bit right. The seal symbolizes protection, strength, wisdom, Intuition. So, yeah, sorry, I had to bend down because it's written. I wanted to get that bit right. Um, exactly. So, that shows that the idea or ideas that you've come up with, that you're starting to develop, they're coming from you. Listen to your intuition. But uh, they're strong ideas and they will be successful. And the scene is saying that and immediately between the seal and uh, your ear and if I say left or right it's as we look at the cards um, not the right or left of the card so as we look the seal is actually touching the sun near enough with its nose and um, Right in between the seal, if you look carefully, you'll see a black peg. And the black peg symbolizes 
life, death, rebirth, and reality, which confirms the message from the sun clearing the camouflage, the moon clearing the camouflage, you being unseen, you have had a life which uh, you're leaving behind, you're being through a period of rebirth and you will have a whole new reality, things are developing. The one warning with um, the black pig, funny enough, is that your ideas are likely to be so successful to be a wee bit weary and not to get greedy. Okay. So that, that even that warning is good to have in there. And uh, the sun also shines a light up onto your forehead. Uh, and that shape in the center of your forehead I see as a skate, you know, like a big flat fish. Um, so it, it, it symbolizes good luck in your ventures and again fits with the overall message. So that is a really good card that shows that um, you quite probably at some stage been through difficult times and you're now at a point where you've got the foundations made and you're going to be moving on past that. You're going to have uh, better times going forward. So that brings us to formation. And I will stop at, start, stop, <laughs> try speaking. I will start at the bottom and you will see those bright shapes coming up. And if you look at them, they're pretty much the same colors. And that is the rays that have fallen out of the sun uh, in, the, in the first card and are now rising. And you have a whole block of Block of uh, block flock. I can nearly talk today. <laughs> you have a whole flock of butterflies coming up there. Massive transform transformation, positive transformation. Everything's lit up. There is no darkness whatsoever, and much larger now. Up in the top left hand corner, you have your seal again watching, um, and uh, protecting. And the whole thing is just a short message, positive change, transformation, no more hiding, camouflage, being on scene. You have the ability, you have the intuition, you have the strength, you have the right idea, and it's starting to take shape and it will come to maturity. So just a footnote. Uh, to finish on, um, I've not been regular with uh, these readings, putting them on just um, when I can and when I'm in exactly the right uh, frame to read the cards. So what I'm going to try and do is from next week, probably on a Sunday night, is to draw a card of the week and and. Uh, maybe do a card for each week and see how it goes and then uh, continue with my normal monthly readings. So hopefully that resonates with some of you, all of you. Click like. Even if you didn't like it, click like. <laughs> uh, which will help my wee project here to grow. Okay. Thank you very much. Until it's just me again, it's just me again. Bye.